Hi friends, it's Miss Emily from the main branch of the Charleston County Public Library here for another episode of Seasonal STEM. Today we're going to be talking about the science that goes into creating one of my favorite winter drinks, hot chocolate. It's December, it's finally sweater weather, so I thought we should talk about that. Now, when I think of hot chocolate, I think of a big piping hot mug of cocoa with steam rising up. But is the hot part of the hot chocolate really necessary to make the drink? Today, we're gonna find out. There are different ways that you can make hot chocolate, but one of the most popular here in America is to take a packet of prepackaged drink mix and to mix it in with either milk or water to create a new drink. Today, we are going to experiment with different temperatures of water to see if the temperature affects the way that the drink comes out. For this experiment, you're gonna need three heat-proof mugs, three packages of hot cocoa mix, a spoon to stir, probably some paper towels too, just for a mess, you know I always recommend that. In timer to record a measuring cup so we measure out the same amount of water for every single mug so that our experiment is the same across the board and a piece of paper to record the time for each cup our first step we always do with our science experiments is to begin with a prediction so we're going to be doing cold water this cup's been in the fridge room temperature water I'm gonna pour some from the faucet and hot water. Not boiling, but hot, I'm gonna use that from the mug. Which do you think is going to dissolve the prepackaged hot chocolate mix the fastest and the best? And why do you think so? So take a little time and write that down on a piece of paper somewhere so that you can compare the results with what you predicted at the beginning. So we're going to do one mug, mug of hot cocoa at a time so that we can focus on making sure that we get the measurements as precise as possible. So I'm gonna take the water that's been in the fridge and I'm gonna pour two glasses. I'm gonna pour one cup of water into each. One I'm gonna stir immediately, that's gonna be my cold water. The other one I'm gonna let sit out while I'm doing the first cup, that's gonna be my room temperature water. So I've got my one cup measuring. This is great uh, extension for the kids to practice with using the measuring spoons. both of those and then I am going to immediately put my prepackaged mix in start my timer and see how long it takes it to dissolve fully so now I am getting the timer ready on my phone so that I can start it as soon as I enter the package of cocoa mix into the first glass with the cold water and if you guys wanted to at home could even use a thermometer to measure the different temperatures of the water to make it even more scientific. So I'm adding that mix and I'm gonna stir it with the cold water. I don't know if you can see, I'm getting lumps. It's not really dissolving. It's supposed to dissolve completely into the hot water. And no matter how much I stir and stir and stir and stir, I'm still getting those lumps. It's not forming a thick, cohesive drink that you think of when you think of hot chocolate. You don't think of having gritty pieces of the mix still in and still being able to distinguish it from the water. Um, it's been about 40 to 45 seconds. I think that's about as fast or as much dissolved as I'm going to get it. Like you can see, there's still lots of bubbles of the grittiness. So we're gonna stop that one. At 50 seconds, I'm gonna record that. So, so far, it does seem like maybe the hot chocolate part, if the hot is necessary. So I'm cleaning off my spoon. I have my cup of water that has been sitting, that was also in the fridge to become room temperature. I'm gonna reset my timer. I'm going to stir this in. Start my timer. Stir, stir, stir. Getting a little less clumping, but not a whole lot less. It still seems pretty clumpy. Let's see though, it's more cohesive. It's not fully dissolved, but 
definitely less. And that was 45 seconds. So now we're gonna get our last mug. Move these ones aside. Clean off our spoon again. Uh, this would be a kiddos where you would need a grown-up to help you out. I'm using a tea kettle. You could use a um, microwave, but I would definitely get an adult to help you with this part because of the hot water. We're going to wait till it's bubbling, but not boiling. Definitely get your adult to help you pour the water that's hot into the cup. I'm just going to wait for some bubbles and then I'll pour it. in some bubbles. So I'm going to pour one cup. Again, we want it to be the exact same for every single measurement that we do. Make sure our results are the same across the board. I'm going to start my timer. Pour my water. And I am going to start to stir. And it looks like after 17 seconds, not get any any of those clumps on the top that you're seeing. You're not getting any separation. And I bring my spoon up. One full cohesive glass of wonderful hot chocolate. So 17 seconds. So now that we've tried our experiment on three different temperatures of water, let's compare our results. With the cold water and the room temperature water, we stopped at about 50 seconds for the cold water and 45 seconds for the room temperature. The cold water is the least mixed and integrated. The room temperature water is a little bit better, but not super. And whereas the hot water dissolved prepackaged hot chocolate mix completely within 17 seconds. So now that we know that the hot part of hot chocolate is correct, it's true, let's talk about why. Why does the hot chocolate powder dissolve fastest in water? So hot water has more energy than regular temperature or cold temperature, room temperature water. With more energy, the molecules in the water move faster. And this means that when you introduce something like a package mix, something else into the water, it breaks it down much more quickly than the other two. And that was proof with our experiment. So that's it for another episode of Seasonal STEM. Um, now that you've done some hard science work, put some marshmallows on the hot chocolate that we made and enjoy and for a job well done. Thanks so much for joining me guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.